It's been called broadband for the battlefield. The British military's new Trinity wide area network will be able to handle 100 times more data than the current Falcon internet system. It will vastly increase the amount of data commanders can both see and send, including far more video from aircraft and drones. So modern warfare relies on data. Uh, you know, if you look at Ukraine, uh, you can take many different lessons from Ukraine, but it's certainly looking at more data, data that is available to make the decisions. The key thing that we're try we need to do is not only provide that data to different locations, but provide the tools and the analysis so that your commanders don't get overwhelmed by the data deluge that you get from having those bits of data. So whilst Trinity will do a really good job of allowing lots of bits of data to move around, up to and including things like formation video, uh, what we need to layer on top of that is the tools to allow commanders and their staff to make sure that they can uh, analyse that data and use it to make better decisions. As we've seen in Ukraine, modern battles are fought across a number of domains, from land, sea and air, to cyber and electronic warfare. Within each domain, there's a host of data generators and consumers, from soldiers on the ground to drones, combat vehicles, fighter jets, aircraft carriers and military commands. Trinity works by using a series of deployable nodes, a bit like the mesh system you might use with your Wi-Fi at home. These nodes are then connected, creating a self-contained battlefield network. Each of those nodes is then linked to headquarters back in the UK or at NATO, for instance, by a secure satellite or internet connection. The nodes themselves will be compact, some just suitcase-sized, allowing them to be quickly sent forward to operational areas. Eventually, there are plans to fit Trinity nodes to the Boxer armoured vehicle, meaning the system can be sent right up to the front line. In effect, this new system provides a much bigger data pipe, and that will give commanders from battalion level and above the ability to add, access and move much larger amounts of information than ever before. There's also an element of resilience, so resilience to attack uh, and resilience to potentially one of the nodes of that network being uh, destroyed or not being able to get into location and therefore as it's a mesh as you said like you have at home uh, it will be able to reroute traffic automatically so we won't need to do that ourselves uh, but it will the system will be able to react to it and reroute traffic the intent is actually to make it simple enough to use that the soldiers can do this and other jobs potentially alongside uh, but the whole aim is to be able to get it into action quickly uh, to be able to allow it to be part of that network and then move quickly because again, you know, when you look at Ukraine, one thing that's told us is you don't want to be static on a battlefield for very long. Trinity is primarily designed for higher level communications to connect big headquarters together. It will give those HQs the ability to soak up large amounts of tactical data, giving them a more detailed view of the battlefield. The system is scheduled to come into service with the Army and RAF in late 2025. Simon Newton, Forces News. Thanks for watching. For more from Forces News, like and subscribe to our channel.